Ontario trilliums. Spring is probably one of my favorite seasons. It brings new life to our parks in the form of, you know, birds and flowers and whatnot. But um, the white trillium comes out in the spring and it is absolutely beautiful. I've seen rows and rows of them through Awanda Park. It is the provincial flower of Ontario. This flower is featured on many of our provincial documents from health cards to driver's license. Here are some top five fun facts about this species. Three is the magic number with trilliums. They have three broad leaves, three small green sepals, three petals, and three sections of seed pods. Trillium seeds are primarily dispersed by ants. This dispersal method is known as mamakokori. Pronounce that three times really fast. And the meaning of that is the dispersal of fruits and seeds by ants. Ants are attracted to the rich protein on the seeds of the trillium, which they eat after carrying the entire seed back to their nests. The actual seed is not harmed during the process and later discarded to grow a new plant. The white trillium is a favorite food of white-tailed deer. The fact many of our provincial parks use annual trillium surveys to understand the population of white-tailed deer and their effects on biodiversity of our forests. If you pick a trillium, the plant may not have enough energy to survive throughout the winter. Trilliums have a few short weeks in the spring to collect as much sunlight and nutrients as possible to be able to survive the rest of the year. If you pick a trillium in the height of its flowering glory, it may not be able to collect enough resources to survive. These are five natum trillium species found in Ontario. They are the white trillium, red trillium, painted trillium, drooping trillium, and nodding trillium. Like I mentioned, Awenda Park, protecting 2,900 hectares of forest land on the southern shores of Georgian Bay, Awenda offers a wonderful a variety of hiking trails. If you go on those hiking trails, you will be able to see tons of trilliums. Did you know trillium root was once used to treat wounds during childbirth? Contrary to popular belief, it's not illegal to pick trilliums in Ontario. But, like we've said, it may put them at risk. The trillium became Ontario's official floral emblem in 1937. The trillium has been Ontario government's logo since 1964. It takes a trillium plant up to 10 years to produce the first flower. That's such a long time. The plant seeds normally take at least two years to fully germinate, with the plant itself taking between seven to 10 years to reach flowering size. After the plant produces its first flower, it will bloom annual, annually in early spring, with the bloom lasting around three weeks. I find them very photogenic. This was a shorter Know Your Local Species, and I hope we've covered some fun facts, and I encourage you to get out and enjoy those blooms while they last. That's it for now on Know Your Local Species. And did you know the library has a seed library? If you are interested in growing some of your own vegetables and some flowers, come into the library and take some seeds out. Thank you.